All right, lads, welcome back to a new video today. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do Cinema 4D renders in 2023. Now, I did upload a video of this last year, but bro, like the, the fucking tutorial that I did is god awful. Like, I, lo I looked back at it and like I've improved a lot and learned a lot in like a year which is crazy so um yeah let's get into it also if i forget to mention stuff or like um to like help you guys out with the renders and stuff i'll put it in, in um in the comments below as well and i'll put it in a comment okay so also for this uh video or tutorial you actually need greyhound maya blicky cinema 4d texture script cod image utl and model merger all right lads we're in game right now and as you can see we have greyhound open so now i'm gonna click load game actually i'm wrong do not do that so my settings for Greyhound are this, okay? Now, this is my settings. I would recommend copying these settings if you want. Um, it's up to you. But so I have export images with models, export image names, um, export Miocene, export uh, OBJ, which is objects, and model bin. Actually, I don't think you need this. I'm actually gonna turn this off. But the most important one you need is SD model. We need this, so please do that too. So if you want to print models, load game real quick, and then, um, also make sure you got X models uh, loaded too. Now, if you if you want to do X items, load X items from game two like this, and load game. There you go. That's how the animations pop up. Also for the images, make sure you enable all three of these apart from skip to previous export images. And I think for this, yeah, just have export SC anim and water work compatibility. Water work compatibility. If I could talk and skip to previously export animations too. So once you've done that, you can pour any model you want. So I'm just gonna pour Dempsey. So um sorry Dempsey real quick. And so on Black Ops 3, he has like a bunch of models, but the main one that I do is um I think it's this one. Yeah, MPC FB. So I'm gonna pour him real quick like that. There you go. Also, if you are playing Dryzen Drac or Zetsmanishima, you will see other um models in BF3 called Sin. Sin means that it's cinematics. And also, you can actually port uh, the cinematic animations too. So I can actually, I, I can actually show that real quick, actually, real quick after this is ported. So well, give me one second. Okay, yeah. So the cinematics for the um for the renders, or the uh for the models is called Ocas Outro. So if I just type in Outro, there we go. So these are only available in Zetsunoshima and. The Rise of Drac, I think. I don't think it's in Garod. Oh, wait, no, it is in Garod as well. And in Garod, yeah. So, DE, Zetspo, and Garod, you can um, export these atoms. And obviously, again, you can export the um, cinematic models too. So, I think uh, there's quite a lot of cinematic models. Yeah, here we go. So, we got um, Takio, Nikolai, Dempsey, Richtofen, and all this, all this jazz. So, yeah, you can do that too. Okay, so I just ported the normal Dempsey and not the cinematic one. So I'm just gonna port like a random uh, model or uh, an animation, sorry. Um, I'm just gonna do, um, let's do PP Dual World Stand Idol. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I'm done, let's do that. All right, cool. So I am now with Dumb Greyhound. All right, so now I just loaded up Maya real quick. So now, if you have Maya open, get the SE model and drag that bitch in. There we go, so I'm gonna drag that real quick and it's doing the bottom left. It's, uh, Loaded in right now, and there you go. Boom is now in Maya. So I normally just export the actual model. So if, okay, so if I want to like pose the model, like I don't know, just do anything you want. I normally just export it normally. So I just do this, select this, select this, because um, select hierarchy. Please do that as well, because that 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 can export everything. Because sometimes you can miss stuff, and then I go to uh, export selection fpx model make sure this fpx export and uh i'm just gonna pour it anywhere so i'm just gonna do storage bro i got so much stuff i apologize lads um and i'm gonna go x models characters and yeah uh delete these ones because these are just mega old um actually i'll just, I'll just do dempsey dempsey pog i don't know so that's what i just do if i want to like just uh just to post stuff and yeah I pose it in Cinema 42, it's just a lot easier. Okay, so I found that animation that we just ported to. So also, what you can do is drag this into onto the model, and there you go, bam. It is now on the model, easy peasy. Now, you could do like, you could do um, anything with this uh, animation on this model. So also, I wanna mention this right now. You need to duplicate this in uh, Maya. Now, what that means is that Basically, right, sometimes, and mainly with BF3 models, if you just export it like this, 
So select hierarchy and then go exportation. Exportation. <laughs> Export selection. And if you'd like to um, export it, but I'm not going to do it right now, but if you like, just want to press 1 or just type anything and export it, if you put in symbol 4D, it can sometimes bug out. So I recommend doing this one might do, okay? So go to any frame that you want, literally any frame. Um, so I don't know. Because this animation is so like just so simple, it's not like moving, it's not like moving a lot. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do 45, 46, like this. So now again, if you want to if you want to do this with an animation on a model, you need to do what I'm doing, okay? So you've got to select joints, select uh, the model, control D, and then select hierarchy, and then export selection again. And again, I'm not gonna do it right now, but just put it in any folder you want, like in your directory, and just do uh, name it whatever you want and export it boom done now that is done and you won't have any issues with that so if you put in some 4d you're um it's completely fine no issues okay lads so now i'm going to show you guys how to merge models now what that means is is that sometimes you know if you want to port a model um some of the mesh is actually separated from like the actual full body model so sometimes you could port the actual full body but sometimes you can't. So what I mean is the torso, the legs, the arms and the head are all separate sometimes. So this is a way how to fix that. So for example, I got Dempsey's head model from BF4 and I got his body model. Now again, you might have multiple, um, what's it called, um, body parts. So for example, I'm gonna show you guys real quick another example. So if I go to like a cobble model, I don't know, just Hudson for example. So this is what I mean, arms, head, lower, lower body, torso view arms. So what you wanna do, is that I'm going to go back to my Dempsey model real quick and be a four. But yeah, I have so many models, lads. It's, it's ridiculous. So I'm going to go to his head model. And I'm going to control C and control paste his SE model. That's what I'm going to do, right? So, and again, I'm going to get his uh, body model. I'm going to control C and control V. There you go. So all you got to do is basically just copy and paste every SE model that you want to merge. Uh, like body parts. So now, once you've done that, pasted all your stuff in there. you got to uh, set both, both of these. And then drag it in the drag into the uh, the model merge with exe. Now let's go do his, uh, his stuff real quick. Um, once it's done, press enter. Yep, execution complete. Bam. Now you can delete these now because it's done. Merge models. There you go. It's now done. So now, if I drag it into Maya, and yeah, as you can see, there, there you go. There's the BF4 Dempsey model. Now real quick, you guys are probably thinking, wait, hype. So if I merge all the models right, can I put animations on them? The answer is yes, you can. So as you can see, I got a BF4 Dempsey model in there right now, because it's a T8 right there. You can see C C underscore T8. Now, if we go to like a BF4 uh, animation real quick, again, I got so many, so much stuff. It's, it's uh, ridiculous. Uh, I don't know where that. Where that? Uh, oh, there we go. Animations. There we go. Okay, BF4. Um, I'm just gonna select like a just a random ass like just animation. Um, I don't know. Let's do MM100 gun. Um, Fem. Uh, I know, let's do Mel, because obviously he's a Mel, duh. There we go, so, um, we're gonna do MM, sword, pistol, blah, 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 blah. So we're gonna do that, <laughs> we're gonna do that real quick. So, drag that on, there you go. So basically, if you port a cobble model, cobble items will work. Same with, same with BR4, same with BR3, BR2, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, you're shooting, there you go. That's how you do it. Okay, lads, now, this, this is actually kind of important real quick. If you have any issues with like um, your models looking very, very weird and stuff in uh, Sim 4D, I genuinely mean this. You need to do this, okay? So I mentioned earlier that um, we need COD image UTL, uh, which is right, uh, am I blind? I'm blind, am I? Uh, here. Oh, uh, well, it's, it's, it's called game image, image UTL, whatever, same thing. Right, so you open this up and Basically, the reason why it's um, messing up your render or your model is because the normal maps are yellow. As you can see, I got a cobble, um, a cobble model right now that is showing all of this. So we want the yellow ones to be blue. So we, so literally, all you got to do is put X, Y, normal map, yellow, no alpha, modern games, scribble. And yeah, this works for every game, by the way. So you're chilling, don't worry. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to drag um, all of these and this one. Gonna drag all these onto this. Now, once you've done that, there you go, blue. So, if you have any issues with any models, models or renders, you get the yellow normal map. You put it, you drag it onto this, and then it goes blue, and then it'll be fixed. Okay, lads. So, also with BF4 models as well in Sim 4D or like Maya, it messes up the mesh. As you can see, like it's all messed up. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. Actually, let me do this real quick. Let me just see what the material. 
right here there we go oh no not that uh what's it again so I'll, I'll just do it for now oh i know why it's this i'm done there you go that's it so with black ops 4 models this can happen like a lot like i mean a lot so you're probably thinking well hypes can we fix this and the answer is yes you can so what i do is that i just grab every single material right here right it's like this like that there we go i think that's correct yeah so now what you want to do is go to polygons now when you go polygons you have all these um vertices so what you want to do is click shift a like that then control a and then if you go to optimize there you go it's fixed that's it just as simple as that so now if you have any <laughs> mesh issues you can just do that and i'll fix it all right lads so now we've got bf3 dempsey and Smo 40. so as you can see i actually went along with the animation so now um obviously we, we duplicate it okay so now we duplicate it right in maya so that means that we don't need the joints at all because it's just frozen like we don't need to move the joints it's fine because again the animation is just frozen and that, that's what this is what he's gonna look for look like for a render there you go like that right so now we can rotate him real quick do it like this bam there you go so now we want to make Dempsey look good right so we gotta go to one of his material types so i'm gonna go to his teeth real quick so i'm gonna control c this and then i'm gonna go to extensions user scripts black ops core work characters import mcl png and we gotta go to his uh model uh so i poured it earlier files bf3 x models mp c uh, full body there we go so now i'm gonna i'm just, well to be honest you could just click on it and it does it right yeah there you go you could just do that but if you don't want to do that you could just paste uh the tutorial type in the search bar and uh it should work regardless but yeah there you go that's how dempsey looks also by the way if you want to make the model look a lot better in the render view because as you can see like he looks really really bad you could just select always um mesh models or or, or um click on one of them first then uh shift a the whole materials go to um viewport texture preview size and then put it to 2048 by 2048 and now you can see it looks a lot better now okay so when it comes to like actually messing with like um the settings and stuff on Dempsey or like any render model um it kind of depends on what render model you're doing so for example like a zombie and stuff like you want that to be like a lot glossier and stuff like etc all that stuff so with character renders you don't need to change that much honestly when it comes to like gl like, gl like gloss and stuff but again it depends how you want the render to look but for me personally I don't need to change that much so I'm just gonna say that real quick you could you, you could do anything you want so for example Dempsey looks all right, but he I can make him look a lot better, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to his upper um, uh, material right here, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make it look a lot, look a lot glossy like this, so it looks a lot better. Now, also, when it comes to like gloss maps, so if you if you got if you guys don't know what that is, gloss map is um this change turn it off because it's annoying. This is a gloss map in roughness, and again um flicky scripts plus all the textures in this and makes it automatic for you literally like it's simple as that that's why his script is, is just got here shout out to flicky so as you can see Dempsey's face is okay but if you want to make him glossier what you could do is go to his um texture <clears throat> go to colorizer and make it go white and then black and then you could turn this down like this again you can make him glossy as you want rough as you want it's clearly up to you now i genuinely recommend messing with this on every single model or like yeah literally every model because sometimes it can be really glossy or really rough so if you just mess with that setting i just did you could just do that and again right his gloves are just really glossy so what i'm gonna do is go to colorizer again and I'm going to make this white. And I'm going to make this black. There you go, like that. So now it's really rough. But again, we didn't want it that rough. And we didn't want it that glossy. So I'm going to put it in the middle. So I'm going to do it like... Mm, I'm going to put it like... 50. Like that. So now, when you render it, it's going to look a lot better like that. A lot, lot better. And yeah, lads, when it comes to eyes in um Cinema 40, I usually do this. So I could um I copy and paste 
the eye texture into luminance and this what this means is that it makes it a lot brighter like a lot better look at that jesus it looks a lot better at that and then when it comes to like uh, the reflectance the gloss stuff um also i should have mentioned this earlier my bad reflectance is actually the gloss stuff um to like make it look a lot better like glossier or rougher so my apologies i should have mentioned that but it's kind of obvious but yeah um so if you go to uh roughness so i i normally do the eye it's like eight and then i put like the uh brightness on the layer color it's like 35 like that also lads i want to say this real quick too when it comes to gloss stuff reflective stuff um beckman is well basically you can use beckman ggx fong and ward so i usually for clothing i uh for clothing and skin types i use ward okay it's up to you what you want to use that's fine and also for metal types so like th this kind of stuff, for example i use ggx because it makes it um look a lot better with like metal types but again, like it was really rough, so I'm gonna put it down to like maybe like uh 50. And I'm gonna put this down to actually oh no, that's fine like that. So yeah, so when it comes to like um material types, GGX is pretty good for metal stuff, and ward is really good for like curving types and skin types. And yeah, also with hair types or like uh, um with the gloss on the hair, I put it to 45 and 20. And also if you have like a um a texture in here, get rid of it. Just go to it and then press clear. Get rid of it. Cause um when it comes to hair types, you don't need um rough um like um gloss mats and roughness. Well, in my opinion, you don't, you don't need it. But if you want to, you can have it if you want. But yeah, so this is what Dempsey looks like. I think it looks pretty good. But we can make him look a lot better. All right, lads. So a minute ago, I said that we can make it look a lot better, right? Well, I mean a second ago for you guys. So I I said a second ago that we can make it look a lot better, right? So there's something called subsurface scattering. Now what that means is that it can make the look um it can make the render skin look a lot better and more smoother. And more vibrant so now if you want to see it if you want to see an action what you want to do is copy and paste the color map into luminance now if you take a luminance go texture go effects and then go ss subsurface skyrim now click on the white texture as you can see on his face <laughs> go to shader and then paste it open press no and then there you go <laughs> that's it so now I'm going to do, um, so I usually do these settings, right? And you guys, you guys can do whatever you want, like any color you want. Like it's up to you, create that to you. But this is my setting. So I do 17.42, as you can see it's uh, there. 17.455, 40, uh, oh God, voice crack. <clears throat> Strength is 200, uh, path length is, is 0.1, then multiple, um, sample density 55, then single, and single scattering is um enabled and then separate color channels now this is the settings that i usually do and lads um oh, oh yeah also this is the bf 4 dempsey model because lads I, i'm gonna be honest with you the bf3 models for renders are just dog shit i, I prefer bf 4 they look a lot better like uh, just way better anyway so yeah bf 4 dempsey looks a lot better now so if i untick this and tick it there you go looks so much better i'm actually gonna quickly render this real quick so you guys can see it so i'm gonna do it with without it and with it real quick okay so this is dempsey without the subsurface scattering and yeah this is bf4 dempsey with subsurface scattering and as you can see it looks uh, like 10 10 times better so lads if you do this i highly recommend it all right lads so i got rick Toffin right now on my screen and you're probably thinking hives why the hell have you got rick Toffin on your screen now lads i'm gonna help you guys a bunch with this one so Ritz often seems hella bumpy, right? Around the edges. Like, really, really bumpy. So, I'm going to show you guys something called Subdivision Surface. Now, <clears throat> what this means is that we can make him or any model or any render look a lot smoother around the edges of anything. Any body part. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to the mesh real quick. So, this one, that's the most bumpiest. I'm going to control C. I'm going to disable this part. And then, I'm going to go to control V and paste it. By the way make sure you disable this one too is because we're going to paste it here um if you keep it enabled it'll make some of 40 lag a lot so please do that anyway so now i'm going to put this above this one the mesh like this <clears throat> sorry for the voice by the way um and then i'm going to i'm just going to uh, name it main and then i'm going to drag it on like this now i'm going to go to the main <clears throat> and then i'm going to put it to four and four make sure it's on edge two and then if i untick it and then take it again 
And if you look at this area right here, you can see the difference. So, non tick it, tick it again. There you go. See? And that is how you make things uh, look a lot smoother with like models and stuff on Sim 4D. And I highly, re I, uh, highly recommend it. Okay, lads. So sometimes in Flicky scripts, he he's actually missing um emissive textures. So as you can see, like it's actually kind of like just green with nothing there right now. Um, I I, I might have purposely did that on purpose for this, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so don't, don't blame him for that. But yeah, sometimes um it does miss it, um that's that kind of stuff. So if you like want to just go and find that um that um emissive file. So I think mine is just like um this one yeah this one here so literally all you gotta do is find it and also by the way with the texture type it's literally underscore e or it might be hashed but anyway if, if you find it or not it's fine but if you apply it if you do find it and you press no on this there you go that's it that's, that's literally all you gotta do and then it should show up and also one more thing if you are struggling to like try and like brighten up the um the emissive texture sometimes because sometimes when you put um emissive textures on it it can like not be or like look as good so just literally just turn it turn it to brightness like just to anything you want like a thousand or like i don't know any color you want I, actually can you even do a thousand oh you can't oh you can't there you go yeah sometimes it can like sometimes it can um what's it called not not a show as much so if you like just fuck with all like the sense on this like the brightness and stuff um that can uh, help it for you that can fix it for you also sometimes people might question why zombie eyes are um not working properly or like if you're probably asking how you do it again go in luminance and find this texture it comes with every single zombie texture that you port and yeah, that's it. That, that's literally it. And make it any texture you want, like any color you want, so orange or something. All right, lads, we're we're now on the final thing, and the final thing is lighting. So, when it comes to lighting in Sim 40, you can use any lights you want. There's Omni lights, spotlights, area lights, etc. Now, if you actually want to know how to do this, you go to um, like sim symbol here. Light is uh, is Omni light, spotlight, target light. As you can see, like there's so many lights to, to pick from, but I mainly use uh, area lights. So if I go on this. As you can see, area type and then area shadow. Make sure you enable that too. Now, the reason why I use area lights is because I just find it easier to uh, use them. And you can just rotate them too. So I can actually show you guys how to rotate it real quick. So if you just click it, go to the rotate tool and rotate it to like anything you want like this. Um, it does help in, in, in some circumstances, but not really. Um, but also, yeah, adjusting it um, helps a lot too. So like this, like that, like that, like... Even like doing this, what I'm doing right now can help it a lot. Like it can like make the edges look a little better on, on the lighting too. Like just doing this, you can see like that. You can see Dempsey right now, uh, like doing that. See like that. There you go. So yeah, I just prefer doing um area lights. Now I was doing on like omni lights before, and it's just terrible. Like, it was so bad, really really bad. And yeah, by the way, you can use as many as you want. Like you can you can literally use like 10, 15, 20. But I mean. You don't need that much for like to do like a render, but I use four to five and um, yeah, that's what I recommend. Also, I'm going to be leaving one of my project files in the description because that could possibly help you guys if you're struggling. Because yeah, again, like it does take time and it is kind of tedious to get like the lighting right how you want it. Um, I mean, even me, like it takes a while to like um, to, to do. And honestly, I think lighting is like the worst thing to like do about renders because it just takes so long to get a perfect how you want it but once you get you're fine you're chilling thank god as well because it's really annoying sometimes and the last thing about renders is the render settings now i usually do progressive medium um to do fast renders so like if you want like the render to like look really good really fast in like within like five ten minutes i usually use this a lot for like uh thumbnails and stuff if i need to get like done asap but if you want to like have like a really really good looking render do adaptive and do medium and use these settings well i mean you could use any settings you want but i usually do these settings same with pro progressive too and uh i think that's it and obviously the path file png 16, 16 bit all this all this jazz ambient occlusion all this too and uh the glow i, I actually don't know, don't know what that does but yeah this is my render settings if you guys want to copy and paste this too again i will have a link to this in the in the uh, description so if you can't do this or like you you're, you don't know what to do you can use my settings too and there you go, lads. That is how you do Cinema 4D renders in 2023. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. If you have any questions below, uh, feel free to ask. And uh, again, if I didn't address address anything that I forgot to mention, I'll put it in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Take care and peace.